Hello vlog channel, how are we doing? How are my little stinky little cult member maggot demon children? <laughs> yeah, if you're new here, I'm sorry. That's like a really big thing over on my horror channel and it's still true over here too. A lot of the cult members like to flock over to this channel as well. But if you're new here, uh, you can also join our cult. That's totally cool. You can just click subscribe, click the like button, the notification bell. That way you never miss our next meeting. For my regular viewers, you might be a little bit shocked that a physical media update is coming on this channel, but yeah, I have decided to transfer that over to this channel. My main channel or my horror channel is not gonna be where I talk about physical media anymore just because there's so much I wanna do over on that channel and I feel like there's a lot of potential for that over on this channel because then I can release physical media content more often because I love talking about it. Also then I don't have to wait and have stuff piled up around my room just waiting till I have enough to like do a big physical media update. I also get a lot of subscriber mail and I know that not everyone is always interested in that on my other channel channel where I mostly like to, you know, review movies and do deep dives and stuff like that. So anyways, as you saw by the thumbnail, yeah, I have a horror pack box sitting here in my lap that I haven't opened. I also have a little stack of movies here to go through. So I will show you these in just a minute, but I say that we open this horror pack. Shoopy doopy doop. Oh, oh. Yeah, let's see what we got. First up, we have... Oh, Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, the new unrated cut. So I definitely already own this movie. I have it in a pack with the rest of the franchise. I just don't have the seventh movie because the other six of them come in this nice, neat little Blu-ray pack. This has some special features. It looks like just the unrated version, but then there's something called lost footage on there too. So it looks like not too many extras or anything on this. This will probably end up becoming part of a giveaway, I would imagine. Unless I have the unrated cut already in that bundle, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, you can see I have uh, some Halloween books stacked up over here. I just finished shooting these videos. But if you're interested, I am talking about the novelizations of the new Halloween trilogy. So check that out on my other channel. I get really in depth with it. We go over like every single minutia of difference in the book and the movie. And we go over all the character lore that's explored. It's a fun time, but I'm gonna stack these over here. Next up, we have Spell. Oh, this was a book, a book, got books on the brain today. This was a movie that, oh, Oh God, I already forget the year. Did it come out in 2020 or 2021? I remember not being super impressed with this. It's fine. It's not terrible. I think I remember I gave it like two and a half or three stars. Just not that inspired. It's it's basically misery. Just a modern day retelling of misery. There's like some good body horror in it and stuff, but nothing crazy. I'll probably hold on to this. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. There's also 15 deleted scenes, including an alternate opening and alternate ending. We also have the art of hoodoo, which is sort of the mystical element of this movie. Movie. over an hour of bonus content, okay. And this one's a nice sleeved one, so can't complain. Next up, what do we have here? We have Obstacle Corpse. Oh geez, okay, so this is the horror pack exclusive title. So with every bundle they send, there is one movie that only horror pack is releasing and they're just never good. Like they're literally never good. I don't think I've ever kept a single one of these that they've sent to me of their like original, not their original titles, but you know what I'm talking about, movies that only they're releasing. And I have complained about that in videos before. I'm like, horror pack, I don't think it's a good look for your brand when all the horror pack exclusives are terrible. And even if that means you want to stop sending me these boxes for free? That's fine. That's fine by me. I have to be honest. And the last for the October Horror Pack, we have... Oh, Disturbia. This is a famous film, no? Yeah, it is. There's Shia LaBeouf and then like a bunch of other A-listers. Oh, a ton of special features on this one. You know this one. You know this movie, right? What was this, like the 90s, early 2000s? Yeah, early two th 90s. This came out in 2007. See, I told you, like I, I know of it. I know it's a very famous movie. I've just never seen it. I don't know anything about it. Also, I don't know if this is a partially French Blu-ray. Commentaire du réalateur et des membres de la distribution, ça le bof. <laughs> I mean, you saw on the title though, it also says like Paranoic. Interesting, that's kind of a weird addition for Horror Pack, but there you go. If it will focus and you can see, there we have all of the Blu-rays for this month of Horror Pack. I would have figured that for October, they'd be a little bit better, or I don't know if this is considered to be like the November pack, because this is the end of October, I don't know. But you would think with the timing of the shipment, they would try to make these as Halloween-y and good as possible. But historically, the best month for Horror Pack is December. 
December. So I guess we'll wait and see then. But now let me go through my little mini physical media haul that I got the other day. So these first two in the stack are not included. I got these before, but they're relevant. You'll see in a minute. Can you find what's in common with the titles in this picture? We got a movie here, Scooby-Doo meets Batman. We got Ghosts on the Go. So four episodes concerning ghosts, I guess. We got Root Scary Six. There are another four episodes in this one. And I don't think these really have a theme, so I'm kind of random. This one is Zoinks, camera action. This one is basically like all the episodes where Scooby and the gang go to Hollywood and they get into a bunch of hijinks in the entertainment industry. This one we have Safari So Good. This is basically like whenever they're at an amusement park, when they're in Vegas, when they're on a safari. Basically just like the traveling edition. Well, they're traveling in all of them. Then we have Merry Scary Holiday. That one's pretty self-explanatory. One of these also has a bonus episode in it. And so basically I got myself, I think 21 episodes of What's New Scooby-Doo plus Scooby-Doo meets Batman. I also found a copy and it was also in a Clippy DVD just like this. And it was Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School. And I wanted to get it so bad. I was like, oh, that's like one of the OG classics. It's one of the best movies. But I'm telling you that disc was so scratched up. I mean, there was just not a chance in hell with that. A few of these, like I think Scooby-Doo meets Batman, the disc doesn't look great, but it's not nearly as bad as that other disc was. And I get it because it's one of the best movies. So whoever owned that disc just had it on repeat, but they scratched it the hell up. So yeah, not really in good selling condition. I don't know why Goodwill put it out. But the reason why I included these also in this stack is because this was another set of What's New Scooby-Doo episodes I had found recently as well. I wonder if these were all donated together and then they just happened to not put out the rest of these when they put this one out. I don't know. But this one is the Halloween booze and clues one that I showed off in a physical media update recently. So four different episodes like about monsters and Halloween and stuff. And then this one I've showed off in the past too. This contains two of the original episodes of Scooby-Doo from 1969. It contains actually the very first episode, What a Night for a Night, and then the third episode, Hassle in the Castle. I, I know I've showed this off before, but I just wanted to talk about this because look how much Scooby-Doo content I have now. All the TV content, baby. I'm really building out this collection and I hope whoever donated these might find some more and also give those up to Goodwill because at $3 a pop, oh babes, I'm gonna sweep them all up. I actually did give What a Night for a Night a go the other night and I also watched, oh my God, wait, let me grab it. I watched one of the episodes from this Goosebumps pack, One Day in Horror Land. I know that I literally just showed this one off too and also this other Monster Blood pack that I got. They each have four episodes in them. Well, this one actually, it has parts one and two of One Day at Horrorland and then parts one and two of Welcome to Camp Nightmare. So kind of like two extra long episodes almost. But anyway, we watched those in the same night and what a night for a night. The only thing that I really thoroughly enjoyed about it was the original theme song. No wonder I love 60s and 70s rock so much. Like that 60s little indie rock opening. Oh, but then we also watched parts one and two of One Day at Horrorland. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm talking about this because I don't think I'm gonna talk about it in my October recap, but brought back all the good memories. The weirdest thing that I don't remember about the original version of Scooby-Doo is the fact that there was a laugh track. There was a laugh track when we were watching this. I don't know if they've taken those out and the reruns that play now don't have that. I honestly just can't remember like from my childhood if there was a laugh track when watching the original episodes of Scooby-Doo. But yeah, that was weird. And the crowd would laugh at the dumbest things. Like just th there wouldn't be anything funny and then they just, oh, ha, 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 ha. but I'm so thankful the DVD works. It's in great shape. Oh, I'm just, these are like my treasures, my little treasures. And it really took me back watching the Horrorland episodes of Goosebumps. They're still so bad, so good. It just took me back, gave me good feelings. And so I can't wait to get into this one too. I just pulled these out because like I wanted to have my little uh, kid media TV section uh, showed off here. Cause I don't know the next time that I'm gonna fully redo my physical media collection. I just did a fat video reorganizing the whole thing. If you wanna check that out. That was my very last video actually. So I just wanted to show this off because I don't know that I would have had another chance to, or I won't for a really long time because I'm not gonna reorganize the whole thing again, not for a while. So that'll do it for today. I know a super quick video, but this is the vlog channel. I'm not gonna be pumping out super in-depth crazy content here all the time. It's just supplementary content, you know? This is the haul from today. This is just the other stuff that I wanted to show off. So here it is. So there's the horror pack stuff and the giant Scooby-Doo come up that I had at Goodwill and that's gonna do it. And you might've noticed there's some names scrolling on screen 
screen, those are my patrons. They make sure that this content is free for everyone else to enjoy. If you would like to join over there, there is even more content on the Patreon, if you could believe that. Yes, sometimes I post two videos to the main channel, one video to this channel, and like one or two other videos to the Patreon in a single week. That's just what this time of year is like, you know? Don't expect that all the time, but I do, I bust out content, I really do. So there's even more bonus content over there, and that's usually bite-sized reviews of new stuff that's coming out. Oh, for example, I recently just did a little review of the first five episodes of the brand new Goosebumps TV show that's coming out on Disney and Hulu. So go check that out if you're so inclined, or you can follow me on all my social media. Everything you need is linked down below. More than anything, I just hope that you enjoyed this video and that I catch you in the next one. Bye!